Ghana, a country rich in beauty and natural resources, a place where life should be thriving. But today, we are facing a silent crisis. Our skies are filled with dust, our lands torn apart by illegal mining, and our cities covered in the smoke of burning waste. Every day, this pollution is slowly killing us and our babies. The question is, how did we get here? Ghana, a country rich in natural resources, vibrant cultures, beautiful landscapes, and the first country to gain independence in Sub-Saharan Africa. Join we as we rover through this country with stories, development, and adventures. Are you ready? You are now tuning into Jinkado. Whilst other countries are fighting for greener environment, we are rather fighting for harmful environment. Even some babies are not surviving because of these situations. Me now I have sore throat, runny nose, and cold. For not wasting time, Subscribe to the channel, like the video, share, and join my memberships. All over Ghana, many roads are not tired. When cars and trucks drive on these dirty roads, they stir up large amounts of dust. This dust fills the air and covers everything. Our homes, our food, and our bodies. For people living near these roads, breathing in this dust is a daily struggle. It causes coughing, makes breathing difficult, and can even lead to serious health problems. But the ones most at risk are our babies, who are forced to breathe in this harmful dust from the moment they are born. Yeah. In places like Abobuloshi, people burn old electronics, computers, phones, and wires to extract valuable metals like copper, aluminium, and etc. But what's left behind is far more dangerous. The toxic smoke from burning plastic and metal fills the air with deadly chemicals like lead and mercury. These poisons don't just disappear. They settle in our communities, our water, and the very air we breathe. Most of this e-waste comes from the United States and the UK, often shipped for free as discarded goods. And who suffers the most? Our children, whose small lungs can't fight the deadly fumes. Guys, robbers break into my house and they took everything from me. I lost all my belongings, including my YouTube gear. So, if you can support me with a camera, a phone, or a laptop, it will be much appreciated. I will leave my Instagram in the description below so that you can chat me. Thank you for always watching my videos. Galamse was once an opportunity for people to make a living has now become one of the greatest threats to our land and our health. Illegal mining destroys our forests, poisons our rivers with chemicals like mercury, 
and leaves behind barren wastelands. But what most people don't see is the damage it causes to the air. The dust and chemicals released during mining contaminate the very oxygen we need to live. We are choking slowly, quietly, every day. You can never buy a land in China, but here is it, Africa. This is Africa, my brother. Welcome to Africa. The whole of this big land has been destroyed by them in the aim of digging for a gold. They dig, in Chinese we say Huangjin. They are digging Huangjin over here. I asked most of them, why are you guys doing this? They said, because African people did not know that there is gold here, so they are here to discover it for them. You understand? The effects of this pollution are becoming clear. More and more people in Ghana are suffering from breathing problems like asthma and lung infection. Hospitals are seeing more cases of children and babies struggling to breathe. For fresh babies, the air is filled with dangers from the moment they are born. Many are getting sick and some are not surviving. The pollution in our air is slowly stealing their chance at a healthy life. Every year, the Hamatan winds blow across Ghana, bringing dry air and dust. But with untarred roads and ongoing pollution, the dust problems become worse. Dust covers the entire community making it hard to breathe. Farmers struggle to grow crops and families are forced to clean their homes again and again. But the biggest danger comes from breathing in this dust, which can cause serious lung problems, especially for babies and young children. Across Ghana, people are calling for change. Activists want to end Galamse and improve roads while communities and chiefs are pushing for tree planting and safer waste disposal. In places like Agbogloshi, people burn old electronics to extract metals, releasing harmful toxins into the air. But if both Galamse and e-waste burning are stopped, how will the people survive and support their families when jobs are so limited? What can we do to find a solution? Which government will take action to save lives and create better opportunities for the people? Thanks for watching. If you believe in the need to save Ghana and make a difference, don't forget to subscribe, give this video a like and share it with others. Let's keep the conversation going. Drop your thoughts in the comments below. See you in the next one.